today we're talking about reducing inflammation through alkaline foods. We love the style of eating, especially in the summer, because it's cooling and it's anti-inflammatory and it helps support our detoxification pathways. So on the pH scale, you have acidity at zero and alkalinity at 14. As humans, we are around that neutral, that number seven on the pH scale, but we're even a little higher than that towards the alkaline side, around 3.7 to 3.4. And especially when we're born, we're even a little higher, like 7.4. Four or five or so. But as we have so much toxicity in our environment and in our modern world, as we age, we become more and more acidic, which causes inflammation and over time chronic disease. And so the way our body regulates our pH is through respiration and urination. So if you're someone who deals with chronic UTIs, yeast infections, kidney stones, things like this, it might be an indication that your pH is a little too acidic and you might want to look at that. But something we can all do to help support our bodies is to fill ourselves with all these alkaline foods. Uh, so the acidic foods are going to look like meat and dairy and grains and sugar and alcohol. And alkaline foods are going to look like fruits and veggies, nuts and seeds, avocado, coconut, salt, olive oil, and even citrus. So dairy and citrus are kind of funny because they're the opposite of what you might think. So citrus on the outside is acidic, but when you consume it and it metabolizes in the body, it becomes very alkaline. So much so, it's almost one of the most alkalizing and anti-inflammatory foods that you can eat. Dairy, on the other hand, is a base, but when it's metabolized, it becomes acidic and can also cause some inflammation. And so this alkaline way of eating, of course, is packed with fruits and vegetables and might even look something like a raw vegan diet to some people, which is great for the summer, especially if you're a Pitta body type in Ayurveda, which means you're this hot bodied summer body type. So these cooling foods are gonna feel so good to you and actually are necessary. And you can probably even continue this style of eating even past the summer, this becomes sustainable for you. But if you are a Vata body type, the cold body type like myself, this feels really good in the summer, but as soon as that temperature starts to drop, it's time to shift into more warming foods and not so much raw because this will be really depleting for your body. And if you're treating a specific condition, an inflammatory condition like cancer, heart disease, diabetes, having an alkaline way of eating is the perfect way to treat, to cool, to cleanse, to detoxify. And you can actually eat like this year round because you're treating a specific condition. So this is just a great example of how seasonal eating is so important and how different seasons actually correlate with different conditions and diseases and organs in the body so that we know how to treat the condition naturally mm -hmm. and so we can't be all alkaline we are both right because we sit in the middle which means we're going to eat acidic foods as well which is fine but when it comes to acidic foods quality is key especially when it comes to meat and dairy and grains we want to look to whole grain grass-fed pasture raised these kind of things because these higher quality meats are going to be more alkaline and anti-inflammatory than the conventional and when you're looking at animal meats, um, during this time of year, we can actually go more towards fish, which is a much more cooling type of animal meat because when you think of the movement that it has in the water <laughs> and the cool water that it swims in, it's also cold-blooded, so it's gonna be much more alkaline than a land animal meat, which is gonna be warmer. It's um, literally warm-blooded, out in the sun, you know, grounded in the ground. Um, so it's very grounding and warming, but not really the same energy that you would want for the summertime. Mm -hmm. And so and to incorporate all of these alkaline foods in high quantity, we want to get them in us. A salad is really nice, but it's a lot of chewing. It's a lot of time. We talked about chewing. It's very important. So something we recommend for the on the go, packing it in there is blending. And a green smoothie is a great way, a great thing to incorporate into your day. I highly recommend doing a three to one ratio. So you want three times as many vegetables as you have fruit. And I'm talking in quantity, not variety. Um, so lots of veggies in there. It tastes delicious and it's really cooling and nice. One of my favorite things to make during the summer is my alkalizing gazpacho. So it's full of alkaline foods like tomatoes and um, 
<laughs> cucumber mm-hmm. and uh, spinach, spinach and avocado, and avocado scallions, all of these things, <laughs> and basil. It's Benilla. literally so, so good. And I love putting it in the fridge to keep it nice and cool um, so I can have it for lunch, a snack, or even a side for dinner. Mm-hmm. So head on over to simply-seasonal.com, sign up for emails, get this amazing gazpacho recipe, and so much more. Well, that sounds simple enough. Because it's, it's Simply Seasonal. really good. I'm not really a gazpacho person. It's like, I don't want to eat a bowl of salsa. No, thank you. <laughs> this doesn't taste like a bowl of salsa because mm-hmm. there's avocado in here and basil. And the, there's a lot of basil mm-hmm. and oh, it's it gives delicious. it like this sweet flavor. Mm-hmm. It's actually one of my clients' favorite recipes that I have them make. And I make it every summer. Danny's even like, when's gazpacho season? <laughs> because he like wants it. <laughs> But I was resisting a little bit, to be honest, <laughs> because I'm like, yeah, I don't want a bowl of salsa. Like, that's not the recipe I want to get. I was like, trust me, it's something that you haven't <laughs> had before. It's so good. Yes, it's mm-hmm. all alkalizing. Mm. So good. My favorite. I was chewing my gazpacho. Chew your soup. <laughs> Chew your soup. <laughs>